so slow motion everyone likes it it looks amazing it can easily make any video more dramatic and wow like and and it is something that everyone just likes to watch and i personally love slow motion and actually use it almost on all of my b-roll but it can get pretty tricky sometimes to get slow motion video so today we're going to talk about how slow motion video works and how to get slow motion video with almost any camera so slow motion video depends upon on how fast frame rate you're shooting your videos on like 60 fps or 120 fps well most of the time people shoot at 24 frames per second because it's the most cinematic and natural looking frame rate which will give you the most realistic motion blur and that's true and all 24 frames per second looks very good for talking videos like this but if you want to shoot slow motion video you will need to hide up that frame rate number to something like 60 fps or 120 fps and when you slow down those high frame rate clips in post it will expand up the clip and show you each individual frame which will result in slow motion video so the higher the frame rate the more slow you can make your footage in post and that's one of the reason why the pro cinema cameras are so expensive because they can shoot at a very high frame rate and most of the DSLR and mirrorless camera these days can shoot at a high frame rate for example my ADD here can shoot at a 60 fps with which will not give you a whole lot slower footage but still pretty good results but not everyone has cameras that can shoot at a high frame rate so how can you get slow motion footage if if your camera can shoot at a high frame rate well there's a trick in adobe premiere i don't know if final cut pro has it or not and it's called optical flow and what does optical flow does is that it creates new frame according to the information of the previous frame and the upcoming frame to make your footage look much more smoother when you're playing it back in slow motion even if it's 24 frames per second so now let's see how to use optical flow so let's head to the computer so after opening a premiere just select the clip that you want to slow down for example right here i'm using a clip that was shot in 60 frames per second to slow it down just left click on it go to speed iteration and then just put in by how much percentage you want to slow down your clip so for right here let's say 50 percent and since this was shot on a higher frame rate like 60 frames per second it will give you a pretty smooth slow motion playback but there's still a limit on how much you can slow it down so for 60 frames per second the maximum you can slow it down by is 40 percent because below 40 percent it will not have enough frames to keep up for that smooth 24 fps playback as you can see at 50 percent it plays back pretty smoothly and now let's see what happens if you slow down a 24 fps clip So this clip right here was shot in 24 frames per second. Now let's slow it down. Smooth speed and duration. Go to 50%. And as you can see, it's pretty jittery and choppy because it doesn't have enough frames to slow it down. And if you zoom in and check in individual frames, you will see that every other frame is just a still image and it's not moving because there aren't enough frames to fill in those gaps with moving frames and that is why it's pretty choppy and jittery. So how can you get smooth slow motion playback even with a clip that was shot on 24 frames per second? After you slow down your clip, just, then again just left click on it, go to time interpolation and select optical flow. After that just render out your clip. My clip was already rendered because I've tested it before and as you can see it will give you a pretty smooth slow motion playback even at 24 frames per second but there's still some drawbacks to it as well as you can see just when I drop the figure you will see this weird artifacting going on and that's one of the minus points of optical flow that does not handle a lot of details at the same time so for example the main object here is the figure that has mm, a lot of small detail like eyes hairs so it will not do a pretty good job at that to you know create new frames according to it so there's a lot of details going on so if your clip has a lot of many details like sand or hair then optical flow will have a hard time working around that because there are a lot of tiny details in there but you can't do anything about that we are artifacting and one thing i've noticed is that the higher the frame rate of the video clip is the better optical flow will work for example this clip is shot in 60 fps and let's just slow it down say 25 frames per second and then just set the time interpolation to optical flow after that render the clip out as you can see it's much more smoother and there's not a lot of artifacting going on just some artifacting while the figure has been dropped from the hand but that's the best that optical flow can do i guess now let's check out another clip so in this clip I was actually panning while I was moving so it has a lot of shakiness in it 
and it was also shot at 60 frames per second now let's do the same trick to so say 25 frames per second and setting the time interpolation to optical flow let's render that out wow that was fast as you can see this time it has done a really good job there are a lot of things moving in this clip like people walking behind and the camera going down and up but there aren't a lot of artifacting going on there's a bit of artifacting while the person in the background is moving but it's not noticeable but it's barely noticeable when playing it back so as you can see it depends upon the clip sometimes optical flow will do a pretty great job like this time and sometimes it will do okay job like here so a quick tip the higher the frame rate the better optical flow will work on your clip so that's how you can get smooth slow motion video even if your camera doesn't shoot at a higher frame rate so that's it for today's video give the video a thumbs up if it helped you in any way and also follow me on instagram for more behind the scenes and stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video